If there is magic on this planet, it is contained in water. The water is a teacher and a healer, offering lessons for those who choose to hear them and beauty for those who would see it. When land and water converge at horizon, paradise is regained. But when water evaporates and earth becomes parched, paradise is lost. Water covers 70% of earth's surface. Out of all the water on earth, only 3% fresh water is fit for human consumption. The fresh water is becoming a rare commodity and developing countries like India are struggling to conserve fresh water sources. The impact of climate change is showing its effect on day-to-day -day life of the people. The drought-like situation in many parts of India has forced mass migration, putting extra burden on the society and the government agencies. Water scarcity is leading to fall in crop production and death of livestock. Farmers faced with harvest failure have no choice but to migrate. The farmers' agitation and water scarcity has forced the government to sit up and think about water conservation policy. The Niti Ayog or Planning Commission's report on water is rather alarming. It says that Delhi along with several other major Indian cities will run out of water by 2020. That's just two years from now. The report goes on to state that 40% of country will have no access to portable water by 2030. In the list of 122 countries rated on quality of portable water, India ranks 120. India is likely to become a water stress nation by 2020. Although India has 4% of world's water, studies show average availability is shrinking steadily. India has the highest number of people in the world without access to safe water, according to a report released by WaterAid on World Water Day. The country has 75.8 million people without access to clean water. There are apprehensions and concern about the growing scarcity of water and supply of portable drinking water to nearly 50% of villages. The women and children have to spend three to four hours in fetching water from far off places for performing daily household chores. Despite India's multiple water reserves, snow-fed glaciers, rivers, lakes in the Himalayas, check dams have no water or very little water. This water scarcity is affecting water supply to municipalities and creating panic in the community. unplanned urbanization and spiraling population have resulted in sewer water crisis in India. The state-run utility departments are fighting a losing battle to plug the gap between demand and supply. Nearly 17,000 natural water sources have either dried up or are in the process of drying up in Uttarakhand. 
a grim reminder of deteriorating water situation. According to Uttarakhand government estimates, almost 60% of all water sources have dried up in the last two decades. The situation has become grim as the farmers try to drain out ponds and rivers to save their crops. Some people dig out stones for construction work and cleaning hills for agriculture by destroying the ecosystem as more and more space is required to accommodate the growing population. Construction of roads, hydropower projects is adversely affecting the ecosystem of the hills, chopping up of more than seven lakh trees for building four-lane roads in Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand is also responsible for drying up of natural water sources. The water storage capacity of Nanital Lake is decreasing with the increasing rate of sedimentation. The recharge area of the lake has dried up due to encroachment. Nanny Lake is no longer self-sustaining. In 2017, Nanny Lake shrunk 12 feet during the summer season as the entire town was dependent on it for water. It was only after the monsoon that the Nanny Lake sprang back to its original configuration. The illegal construction of riverbeds and encroachment of land of dried riverbeds is further putting stress on the ecosystem. Groundwater scenario of the whole country. You will see in the last decade there had been a huge uh, plunge in the groundwater. Uh, and not only this, if you see, uh, this year is a very important year because there has been lo uh, less of rainfall and as a result many reservoirs actually uh, faced uh, decline in their levels. So uh, if you see, these are the states like Punjab, Haryana, you know, uh, the Deccan uh, states like Andhra Pradesh, southern states like Kerala and Karnataka which show a huge decline of their reservoir level and Maharashtra also. So if you see these are the states uh, which actually shifted its focus more and more on groundwater. So on one side due to erratic rainfall which is happening due to climate change there is loss of water from the reservoirs, reservoir uh, levels are coming down and on the other hand, you see people becoming more and more dependent on groundwater. So if you see the central groundwater board map, actually, you will see that um, major portions have been marked as red areas, which means that there has been a huge decline if compared to the last 10 years. According to the revenue records of Delhi government, out of total 807 water bodies, including bowlies or step wells. Only 640 are traceable while 108 bodies have disappeared. And most shockingly, the traceable water bodies too have been encroached upon. Sand mining, stone mining and riverbed mining is also affecting the ecosystem. The groundwater reservoirs are replenishing as India annually extracts around 251 cubic kilometer groundwater, which is 25% of the total global annual extraction. In comparison, China and US put together just extract 112 cubic kilometer of groundwater annually. According to Central Groundwater Board report, in the year ending January 216, 35% well showed lesser rise and 64% well shows decline in water level. It is an alarming finding. If the situation continues as it is, we are steadily inching towards a catastrophe. As the natural water distribution system becomes precarious, 
animals, birds and marine life are adversely affected. As the water gets dearer for animals, they start suffering. In search of water, they start migrating towards water sources, leading to conflict with local people. And if the animals are carnivorous, they are either chased away or eliminated. Fresh water is used and reused for human consumption, but it is getting polluted in the process. Water pollution has been extensively documented as a contributor to health problems in human beings. In India alone, about 1,40,000 children die from diarrheal diseases each year after using dirty water, according to UNICEF report. Poor people have no choice but to use polluted water. The coin divers spend four to five hours every day in polluted water to earn their livelihood. Most of them suffer from cancer or respiratory infections. In Malwa region of Punjab, the level of uranium in the groundwater is 50% over the World Health Organization norms, due to which residents suffer from cancer and health problems caused by toxic water. Excessive use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides has turned Malwa into the cancer capital of India. In Punjab, at least 18 people die every day due to cancer. Water occupies a unique position in cultural ethos of India. Water is considered holy as it purifies human beings of all sins. The Ganga and the Yamna are considered to be India's holiest rivers. But the water downstream is highly polluted and in most of the places unfit for human consumption. Yet over 500 million people living along the banks of this river still rely on its natural systems for their livelihood. The believers still have faith in the healing power of these rivers, but many of them are hesitant to plunge into the filthy sludge of the river. If all of you want your children and grandchildren to live in a world with clean air, pure drinking water and abundance of wildlife, dedicate your efforts to conserve and restore natural water systems. Water has always been considered as nectar of life. Let's take a pledge to preserve and conserve this nectar of life. If we turn a blind eye to the problem, then this nectar of life will turn into poison of life. Let us save water for our future generations and save our ecosystem.